Well, 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 we are back and ready. How are you feeling, Hawk? You ready? You pumped? Pretty good, pretty good. Hyped about this one. You know, we got the reigning champ back in. Why don't you go ahead and remind the new viewers just coming in the rules for this uh, I will do. challenge so, this season. Flory is the reigning defending champion, but this is a different format, so we'll see how we adjust to this. So nations are random. The quest is secret. Those are the key parts of this, and we'll see what happens in today's duel of Flory versus Magia. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. First up, Magia, how you feeling? How's it going? Well, so far so good. <laughs> at least right, for me. You, you feeling confident? Not at all. <laughs> I'm feeling? not nervous at all. I, I, no, no. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. This is uh, this is scary, man. I don't know. Usually, I prepare for like hours and hours. And... Right. Well, you guys ready to check out the quest for today? Ready and scared. What's it gonna be. All right. What's it Drum roll, be? please. Let's look through the smoke and see today's challenge. Aldra's oh. Bane! <laughs> no! Control as many Great oh. Project levels as possible. So, specifically, a level 2 counts as 2 points. There were moments of despair from both of you. Flory, how's your uh, your confidence <laughs> levels now, mate? This requires a lot of money. I'm not particularly good at that, so we'll see how things go. <laughs> I usually end my runs bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, I, I mean, to be honest, this really depends on the start. Because if you start with a level 2 monument, uh, even if the other player is close by, he only gets one level, even if he conquers it. Yeah. So, start is huge here. Okay, it's time for our players to get not pick get the random nation for this challenge over here obviously it's got to be someone big someone that potentially starts off with a monument or two flory you being player one let's go ahead and let's hear the number that you're picking let's do it a three for three mountains let's see what hides behind box number three and the nation that flory is going to be playing is drum roll please a jam i don't that. even know which that one is, is it near that? I don't know. <laughs> it's between Timowitz and QQ. I know where it is. I just... <laughs> I'm trying to visually picture out where the Wonders are. Uh, okay. uh, what's your opinion, Flory? What do you think? Something well, you... at least I start next version, so I make some money. It's money to be made. I guess there's uh, there's money. Uh, well, it'll be fine, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, not not sounding too confident here. All right, let's go to Magia right here. Pick your number. Let's go for the nine. Nine. All right, ladies Take and gentlemen, let's first. see what nation is behind box number nine is Bruh. Scotland. Very interesting. <laughs> Very different. More difficult than a jump. So we got our nations. We got our players. All right, I thumbs up, thumbs can, uh... down, chaps. How, how confident are you? I, I, I wasn't really, and then I saw Scotland. Okay. Now I'm like, maybe. Good luck, man. Yeah, I mean, good luck to you too, but... Thank you. <laughs> Let's do a uh, 100. 99. 99. Ain't got time. Let's just get it started. Okay, right, Let's go. just get it started. Go, go, go. Boom. Uh, doing the estate setup right here. Giving the Amirs primacy of the Amirs. So looking through the merchant guilds right now. Giving them patronage. He also gave them free enterprise, a weird one. You know, it's good for the influence and the loyalty. Doing lots of stuff right now to get that money up as fast as possible. He's gathering up an army. He's got a general. Pretty good one, actually. 4-3. Why don't we go over to Magir's POV directly? He's racing ahead, presumably waiting for the surrender of Maine, which he will never, ever see. Because unfortunately for him, mm. England did surrender mine. I think that has, like, what? 20% chance of happening? It's unfortunate for him. But we do see English Pretender Rebels. Uh, Unlock is going to be nifty for him. And it looks like he's, I reckon, doing a galleys. I would be using galleys. Mm. Is he going up against the Irish? But he doesn't need galleys to go up against the Irish. He's probably going up against the Norwegians, presumably. Interesting. While uh, Magir is waiting for that, we can go to Flory over here. He has started his first war, which is versus uh, QQ. And their subjects, Beatles and Karabakh, obviously, and Mazandran, their ally. Flory has co-belligeranted. These are really, really good provinces over here, if some of you guys know. They produce silk. This one is a center of trade as well. Definitely very needed to make money. This should be maybe not an easy win for Flory, but definitely a win. He's calling his boy AQ and Shirvan. Interestingly, deciding to ally Shirvan. Probably not going for the Baku Ateshga either way. So this is his first war versus QQ. He can get a bunch of monuments from QQ. The Imam Hussein and Al Abbas Holy Shrines already uh, losing lots of money, which is uh, not something you want to do when you need to spend money to upgrade the monuments. Let's take a look at this battle and let's go to you right after this battle that Flory's 
won. So England has been going into Ireland, going in quite hard. There you go, another war. This is what Maggie needs to be jumping on right now. About to get Tech 4, didn't focus on... Oh, I focus on admin. Interesting. He's marching troops into okay. Burgundy. No CB in Italy, perhaps? Lots of monuments over there. Um, Army maintenance is going up. We're gonna. We're about to see something happen here. He just no CB Bruh, the Pope. He's going to make everyone angry. I messed up. You can see that uh, they were exiled. Ooh, major battle here. Let's take a look at it there. That's huge. Yeah, he's already pieced out Mazandran, not doing any... Oh, actually, he did vassalize Mazandran. Now, there we go. He pieced out already. So this is what he took. No subjects or anything like that, at least additional ones. Do you and think the you... monuments that he took are both of these, the one in Tikrit and the one okay, can over you, here. Can you check to, um, that one first? One potential thing would have been to force them to release Iraq and then to get them to just attack it, then just attack it immediately. And then you got two points. Yeah, definitely. Do they go down when they're made to release a nation, though? Interesting. I don't... Either way, we got a declaration on the Timurids with all of their subjects along with Baluchistan. Not something you see too often here when fighting the Timurids. We got a major Ooh. battle. Big stop like that. Wait for them to move and then head in, I reckon. Yeah, lots of battles won. There we go. We got this one right that there. That should be a stack wipe. There you go. Easy. Oh is he Miltek over the Timurid subjects? Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Except for Coruscant and the Timurids, he is over the other four subjects. So that's pretty good. Their battle right here. No allies, by the way, I don't think. Yeah, no allies. Looking pretty good so far for Flory. That 245 has meant that he now has a very strong neighbor to his south. England, in the meantime, yeah. has nicked most of... Ireland, it's going to be a rough one for him. I think jumping on England, we'll see if it's a mistake or not. An OCB on Biz would have been a good idea, I think. Cause... Yeah, true. He can get the ones from Athens as well. And then there's two monuments in Constantinople. Yeah. I, mean, two... I don't know. Maybe it's too far for Scotland. He didn't take care of his boats. He needs to get mm -hmm. He needs to get access from someone. He needs to get fleet basing. I don't yep. think he's realized. All the ships are about to die. He needs to retreat up to Ancona. Like, this is a blessing for him. He needs mm -hmm. to go to Ancona mm -hmm. now. He's not done it. And now the man you're retreating. But I think they're all going to die still. Yep. Uh, he's there not. They go. They're, they're, yeah. yeah, they're going to yeah. the boats. Unfortunate. Every single ship he has is gone. It's been handed a rough side. He's technically still winning. So, I mean, there's nothing really to, yeah. to sniff at. And he'll get another one here. So, Flory's not in that good of a situation here. Let's be real, folks. Not good with money. Losing about 13 ducats a month. Of course, this isn't nothing, you know, new to him. Another battle here. Out of manpower as well. Rebel's about to pop off. High war exhaustion. These guys just keep pouring out. Pretty tough war. I don't know if he expected it to be this tough. All Timurid subjects except Transoxiana loyal. They have lost one though. Coruscant is not a Timurid subject anymore, even though they are in this war. This is not good for other players. Both of, I, again, no. I, I have to say these challenges usually are like, look at me paint the map and the sun and the sky with all these yeah. different expansion things. Now it's like, okay, you've got a rough start. How are you going to make it better for yourself? Going for the vassalization of Florence here, yeah, he he's, has he's to. That's a tier two well. monument. I mean, he can't know CB. Everyone can he? I mean, it, what's going to stop him? You? Well, not me, well, but... there you go. Uh, so why yeah. are you complaining? Just, just let I'm man, hoping to see. Let him cook. Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> don't do it. What is he doing? Yeah. You don't think he's going to wait until the end of the game, do you? Like, like save it all up. I, yeah. I like that strat. You save this war, and I reckon, head up here. I mean, Bohemia is a tricky one, but... You mm -hmm. know CB someone else with a monument. Like, there you go, Gotland. Poland will be the issue, but it's yep. a naval thing. He's got to build up his navy. But Gotland, I think they're Poland. Yeah, Corey I like Poland. has peace town. Go on, go check it out. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So, piecing out the Timurids only for the Bam Citadel right here, which is still is one. tier one. I guess the month October. Or did it start at tier two? Must have started at tier two. There we go. Oh, there so you one go. to one. Corey has one point. It's one to one right now, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like he's trying to improve relations to try and potentially stop this coalition from forming. Mm -hmm, Should mm -hmm. he do it? I'm not really sure who else he's going to declare war on. This is only going to give him one, which is going to put him in the lead. Eight loans, I can have 50, nowhere near bankruptcy. Not losing as much money as Flory. Yeah, it's, Actually, it's, no, Flory's losing just one ducat a month, so he he is he is a uh, more misinformation. No. I think I, I mean, I personally think you'd. you'd Get your troops out of there so then the poles don't mm -hmm. get involved down here you no cb they look no aggressive expansion no cb them vassalize mm -hmm. eventually after five years goatland? they'll peace out a goatland look bisbee oh uh, no uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah right this oh has happened with the timurids oh It'd be beneficial for flory i guess his truce with sistan runs out in two years there we go vassal of scotland Chuck it on the, the board Pope is a vassal he's Scotland. only gone and increased his lead two points by one you now have the potential for people to support independence. That's going to be rather tricky. Mm -hmm. How disloyal is the Pope? Uh, 80, like 80%. It's pretty disloyal. Uh -huh. 95, my bad. See this coalition map mode. Uh, a couple people could join. Pretty bad. Yeah, Mantua just joined. Yeah, I think they will Rara join. I don't think yeah. that the improving relations helped anything. And again, I think holding on 
would have been a better play at this point because now you've just created a coalition against yourself yeah. in areas that you kind yeah. of want to <laughs> do. I don't really see any other smashing grabs right now. Tunis mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. would have potentially been an option. You can take Tunis to Capital and Kef pretty Kef. easily mm -hmm. and then you take Zert, uh, well actually more Anaba and then uh, Kef um, and you'll be fine and mm -hmm. that'll give you another one there. Byzantine, no CB day one would have been good. Otherwise, I'm not seeing any other vassals that you can really go for. It is just Gotland. Yeah. Maybe conquer Venice from the Venetians but I don't see that as possible right now. We see a coalition of Ferrara, Genoa, Mantua, Naples, Siena, Florence, and Saluto. So not bad at all. Not the independence bad. has been guaranteed by France and he's allied to Burgundy. So it, honestly, that's, nice. that's a solid play. Very, very strong defensively. England, meanwhile, has mm -hmm. rampaged mm -hmm. through the entirety of Ireland. And I, yeah. I, again, I can only think that Scotland is the play with one more, increasing it to three, and, and mm -hmm. then just summoning as many cash, as, as much cash as you can. Oh, yeah, what do you trying think? to what upgrade you them or Scotland whatever, yeah. <sighs> Tough, tough game, man. If only he'd gotten Surrender of Main to Fire. Yeah. He would probably own the London Monument, the Stonehenge by now, and then, you know, you could look into other options like, I don't know, stealing Norway from Denmark, for example. Stealing Norway uh, from Denmark. Getting the one in... Copenhagen, oh. Kronborg, trying to upgrade it. After that, the one in Sweden, the one in Gotland. So I think that would be my play. Is he real married to Burgundy? Did he send the offer? Let's take a look. He is real married to Burgundy. I reckon Gotland and speed five to victory. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. That's a mm -hmm. that's a play. Stage one, scootage, um, the people sits they're, they're not called in. Stage two, attack Gotland and uh, and wait for 100 percent Stage three, vassalize Gotland. Stage four, speed four, uh, speed five, and try and get the Burgundian inheritance, which would take you mm -hmm. to one, mm -hmm. two, three, four and you are good to go. What do you think he's thinking? I think he's thinking, damn, I should have no uh, CB biz. He's also apparently thinking, how can I get that monument from Florence and all the Italian miners? I don't think he's realized. He's trying to maneuver an area where he's been coalitioned. It's going yeah. to be rather tricky for him. Scots are oh, heading troops back around? over here, back to the homeland. He has got some ships, so he's going to be moving guys around. I just don't know where he's going to go with those because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's lost his entire navy, if you recall. I think he's done conquering, honestly. Yeah, I'd agree I agree I think that. he's got these four monuments and now he's just looking at all the ways, you know, to make, I don't know, loans bigger or maybe able to take more loans, reduce interest rates, stuff like that. Definitely Flory, Flory right now focusing on the economic aspect heavily. I like the French. Maybe getting ready to fight England? Maybe. Who are England's allies? East Frisia and Portugal. And Ragusa? Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. If those guys manage to land... They but that's the thing. If they he manage could do to it. land, and I don't think that's going to happen. They've got six heavies. He's got lots of boats as well. Take a look at his galleys versus England's he galleys. He doesn't have any galleys. And heavies, too. He, he lost them all, remember? In he the, doesn't? Uh, in the Mediterranean. Ah. Uh, then what was he building now? Transports? Yeah. So France has three heavy hmm. ships. Burgundy has two. So they're outnumbered. They need to have them fully combined against uh, a fully-fledged English mm -hmm, Navy. Mm -hmm. I just don't see it happening. I think he sort one. of locked himself in with the deck on the Pope. Not the best option. Let well, me I mean, go to Flory directly that, real he's, quick. He's winning technically. Yeah, he is winning technically. So Flory... Oh, there we go. He has just started the upgrade of one monument, the Spiral Minaret of Samara. Why that one Probably no particular there choice. You go. There's a second. So once that, oh, and he actually, yep. There's a, there's another one. So once these are done, Glory winning. will be in the lead with three points. Getting more might be tricky, but he has to actually yeah. get them. He has ten minutes to get them. I think he can definitely upgrade the one in Carbala as well. So I think Flory is going to be at at least four points. He's about to declare war in France. How many monuments do they have? They have like two in Paris, right? Got, yeah. The Notre Dame and Versailles. Versailles is unbuilt. If he gets Notre Dame, it's going to go down to tier one. He's still they allied to France. Morale. So he's looking to... Still I mean, allied. Yeah, Tunis. Go for Tunis. They're a level, it's a level two monument and it's it's right there. He's, oh, it's about to be another point. He's giving stuff to Mazandran here. Interesting. Oh, Florinomics. Yeah, increase. Increasing his loan, loan limit. Oh, he is no CB the two times. That was an OCB. Get that. Oh, I think he was, was he waiting for them to be at war? Possibly. Well, they're super weak now. They are very weak. Right? Yeah, they are. That, that is an Danzig option. Thing happened. And he'll get another another one there. Wait, no, he can vassalize them. What am I talking about? He can get another two here. Oh, we got a game. This is now suddenly taking a turn, chaps. All right. Yeah. We have Little time left. a game. Meanwhile, Plus Burgundy is another Uri, one. I guess, is attempting to flip Shia. Here, this is what Ajama is looking like, right? He has uh, left himself with his monuments only. I'm guessing so the upgrades can finish. He's not unpausing yet. So Bam is at tier two. two. That's two points right there. This is three points. That's his capital. It's four points. 
and he still can't do the Shia one. I'm guessing he's planning to flip. Yeah, he'll definitely be able to bring one of these to tier two. Okay, so in the War of Us, the two tons, he has brought in the Burgundians, who he's going to hope are going to carry him. His army did suffer a defeat, and that's why they're up here in the low countries. Again, mm -hmm. just hoping that this is going to take place. Bohemia is going to be a rough one to get around. They don't have anything, do they? I mean, it's Prague, but I don't think he'd take it. I don't. We'll see if he knows about the loan cap stuff. I assume he doesn't, because otherwise I think he'd probably be maybe doing it. He could do this one. He's got to be quick. Flurry obviously is in the lead. Oh, this is going to be so hmm. close. He has to get lucky here. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. No, he's fine. Safe. Did he call in the French? The French have been called in. Flurry can't unpause it because then he'll die, apparently. No, 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 no. Well, let's oh. take a look at this battle and see why he dies. Oh, oh no. no, that's not oh, good. Oh, no, this is it. It's going to be stack wipe. Yeah, he's getting stack wiped here. Oh, Ooh, that did not work out her. Unfortunate. Let's see if Burgundy can save him, but, uh, oof. I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. Let's let's take a look at what Flory is doing since uh, Flory just said he can't unpause. He's just chilling. Let's. Why would he die if he unpauses? Bankruptcy. Max loans. He declared on Shirvan. No CB. Guess trying to vassalize his former ally because can he vassalize Tejga is a tier one. Uh, yeah, he should be able to. Apparently, just realized that he can do it. Uh, he, like vassals count sorry so that'll be why oh. he's suddenly <laughs> rushing in there's two minutes left so the issue with maggie's game has been that he's been quite timid nothing nothing too wrong i would say he's been stacked with a couple of times got a bit unfortunate and again the alliance between burgundy and france was a decent diplomatic stroke now mm -hmm. we're seeing trying to speed five his way through there we go that's a vassalization that's another two points on the board three two one and done the goal for today was to control as many monument levels as possible so let's take a look at flory's game got the bam citadel right here at tier two got this one right here at tier one this one right here at tier one this one right here at tier one unfortunately he didn't manage to get this final war versus shirvan right here and didn't manage to get the final monument but flory ends this run with five monument points if you want to know something's heartbreaking he won yeah. the war that's one two that's three okay that's four right okay we're on the same page, yeah? Yeah. Look at how close. <gasps> Look at how close. Just a little more cash. Literally just the tiniest amount more. It was so close. Manpower, everything else. Remember that loss over 200 here? 200 ducats away. If he had done it yeah. just a second prior, or literally, like, he would have done it. Another another minute or two minutes, he would have done it. Flory continues. Just because of 200 ducats. Oh, my God. Well, hello, hello, hello. <sighs> uh, I can unveil the final score was Flory 5, Magia 4. Flory, what I don't know is Maggie was maybe a minute away from getting five. About a minute. I, it was so incredibly I have a, close. I have another it, thing. I was literally one month away from getting another one. Oh, um, oh, but, then, but, but then Mamluk's allied Dulkadir, which has a level one monument, so I was going to no CB him, but I needed to wait a month because otherwise the Ottomans joined the coalition. And in that exact month, the Mamluk's allied them. Uh, congratulations, Flory. Awesome. Uh, another victory there. Away, Flory takes it away. You did it. Make sure to subscribe for the next duel.